The following educational content was created by Brockton Educators in collaboration with the New England Primate Conservancy. This project targets STEAM and Common Core standards for grades 4th through 8th. Please follow along with written instructions and additional materials at www.neprimateconservancy.org. Do you like detective stories? Well, the truth is, these days, we all need to be environmental detectives because we have some pretty big cases to solve. One of the biggest issues affecting endangered species in the lungs of our planet is habitat loss due to human activity. But why are humans cutting down the rainforest? Well, because they use the land and trees to make all sorts of different products. But the truth is, these products could be sourced differently and reduce the impact on the animals that make the forest their homes. But what are these products? And who are the people responsible for producing and distributing them? To crack the case, we're gonna take five steps, each of them with different action items. And I'm going to show you how to take each of those action items and make yourself a pretty sweet project. Are you ready? It's go time. Put on those detective hats because we have some mysteries to solve. I'm on the case, and so are you. First thing we have to figure out as detectives, who's our client? We're going to watch a Prezi. Let's educate ourselves a little bit about life in the tropical rainforest. Either pause this video and click over and watch it now and then come back, or you can watch it after seeing all of the instructions. Action item two. Adopt a rainforest animal from these rainforest game tiles. There are lots of interesting, wonderful, and unique animals to choose from. Who did you choose? If you adopted a primate, you're in luck. Because the site you're already on has so much information for you. If you decide to pick a non-primate, you can just do an online search to find out more about them. Now that you've adopted an animal from the rainforest, and that you've really researched their life, their habits, their family, and their group activities. Write a paragraph or more about your client animal, using all the information you gathered about who they are, their life in the rainforest, and what threats they are facing. You can use a just the facts sort of approach, or you can get creative. Hey, tell it like a detective story. All right, detectives, we got an important story to tell. Let's get to work. So, here I am, doing research about my client, enjoying a chocolate bar. I love candy. And I find out that one of the products that they're cutting down the rainforest to produce is palm oil. And I'm like, Palm oil? What the heck is palm oil? Palm oil is sourced in places in the world where it is cheaply produced, but it actually has a very high cost. The habitat of many species, some that are critically endangered, so there are lots of things happening with candy production that may not be so sweet. Suddenly, this candy that I'm eating brings the issues of what's happening in the rainforest as close as the chocolate that's in my hand. So how do I know where the stuff in this comes from? And how do I know which ingredients are part of the problem of the... Action item. Make a list of your favorite candy or candy that your family buys regularly. 
You could type out the list on your computer, too. It might make it easier when you have to input it into your final project. Action item. Make a list of the ingredients. If you don't have the candy physically present, you can easily find the ingredients online. If you don't know what the ingredients are, it's simple to find out. Just input the name into an internet search to find out what it is. Flag any word that has palm anywhere in the name. The trick is, palm oil goes by over a thousand different names in consumer products. Action item. Find the name of the company that produces the candy. If you have the candy present, it's on the packaging. If not, you can find it online. Detectives, we got palm oil. And we got the name of the company that's producing it. But the question is, how are they producing it? Detectives, I need to find out more about the company that makes this chocolate. And since I've gotten used to looking at the backs of packages, I'd like to know a little bit more about who makes other products I might find around my house, what's in them, and who's behind them. I'm on the case, and I'm a serious detective. Guess who produces this coffee? Guess who produces this cat food? That done in there? Guess who produces this toilet paper? And we're out! Well, now I know that some companies produce everything from candy to cat food. And I know that there's palm oil derivatives in everything from shampoo to peanut butter. But I gotta stick on the candy lead. I have to find out more about the company that produces that candy. Action item. Do an online search. Use as keywords the company's name and terms like deforestation, or sustainability, or palm oil production. Find at least three different sources that discuss the company's environmental practices. Detective tip. You are going to be using the company's website, but not for this, because what the company says their environmental practices are, and what other people say their environmental practices are, may not be the same thing. There are lots of consumer scorecards on environmental practices that you can use. Also, if it is a big candy company, chances are there have been articles and major publications about them. Collect these sources. Evaluate their credibility. Detective tip. A credible source should have an author and a date and should have sources of their own. So, now we know what other people are saying about the company that produces our favorite candy. And we have cited our sources, so we have evidence. Detectives, it's time. We're going to take this straight to the top. We're going to talk to the candy boss. So, I was hot on the trail of the candy boss. You know, the person in charge of making all the decisions for the candy company. Candy boss there? Yeah, I'm looking for the candy boss. Yes, I'll hold. Yeah, I'm trying to get a hold of the candy boss. Yes, I'll hold. I'm holding, yes. Yes, I'm still on hold. Anyone seen a candy boss? I knew the list of suspicious ingredients. I'd done my research, and I knew the reputation of the company I was looking at. 
but how could I get in touch with them? Guess what? Not as easy finding the candy boss as I thought. And that's when I realized, hey, doesn't every website have a contact us button? Go to the company's website. Usually, if you scroll down to the very bottom of the page, you will find a button that says Contact or Contact Us. Click on that. Action item. Now that you have the email address of where you're going to send that letter, or that form of where you're going to send that letter to, now you have to actually write the letter. If you need help writing your letter, there are two samples on this page. One is sort of a fan letter. If you found out that the company that makes the candy that you like has sustainable practices and cares about how they source them, you can write them a letter and tell them how much you appreciate that. But if, like me, you found out that the company has not such a great reputation, you need to tell them who you are, how old you are. You need to tell them about your rainforest client. You have to tell them about why you're concerned. And you have to tell them about the research you've done and that if they don't change their ways, you may not be able to enjoy their candy anymore. It isn't worth it to you to have the sweet candy for the cost of the disappearing habitat. So, write your letter. Make sure you use your feelings and your concerns and cite your sources. Detectives, it's time for you to write your story. Detectives, I wanted to wrap this all up in a pretty little bow, but instead, I got threads unraveling every which way. To recap, I went to the company website and I clicked on the Contact Us button. From there, I wrote a very detail-oriented, wonderful letter about their environmental practices and my concerns. I got a form letter in response. It said, they appreciate my concerns and a bunch of other stuff that frankly sounds like a bunch of hooey. I'm wondering what kind of response you got. Detectives, here's where we need to take this case to the next level. We have to tell everybody what we know. Action item. Create a meme using your client animal and some of the key facts you have learned. Share this on social media with friends and family and the public. Share it with us here at the New England Primate Conservancy too. Action item. See if your friends and family have interest in also investigating the products they buy and if they'll help you write more letters to companies about their environmental impact and their products. In some cases, Companies have promised to change their environmental policies based on feedback from consumers, just like you. Also, now you have the makings for a sweet project that you can do for school or to make your case for the public. Action item. Make your own detective case file. Weave together each of the action items from all of the steps. From this, you will be able to make something that's very compelling. You can make it as a PowerPoint. You could do a video like this one. You could even make it an essay or a performance. The key is, the steps that you've done and the research that you've done, people want to know about it. So find a way to show it and share it. One thing is for sure, the more people understand the impact their consumer choices have on the rainforest, the better. If we work together, we can make a difference for these animals who call the rainforest home. Well, detectives, it's far from over. But I am so glad you are on the case with me. No one can do everything, but everyone can do something. And for the sake of all of us inhabitants of planet Earth, let's do what we can. Well, I hope I see you around as we continue to try and solve the case of the disappearing habitat. Happy sleuthing.